Welcome to this or that video series. By UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. Please help citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Today, we are going to explore two similar native invertebrates to Florida the eastern tent caterpillar and the fall webworm. Here are a few tips to help you the next time you encounter one of them. Two species, it's important to note when they are feeding, where they place their web, also referred to as a tend, where they are feeding location, and general appearance of the caterpillars. So off we are to explore. Eastern tent caterpillars are dark in color with bluish sides, a series of light blue oval dots on the sides, and a distinct solid white stripe down their backs. Their side bodies are also covered in dense clusters of long, light-colored hairs. Eastern tent caterpillars create dense webs in the forks of trees. They leave their tent or communal web to feed on leaves outside of the tent and then return once they are full and all nourished up. These tents usually appear between February to May when the larvae are actively feeding. Now, let's look at the fall webworm and how it differs from the eastern tent caterpillar. First, don't let the common name confuse you. Fall webworms are in fact caterpillars. The fall webworm looks very similar to the eastern tent caterpillar, however, they lack the distinct white stripe on their back. Fall webworms are also very hairy when mature and can vary in color from a lime green body with dark spots or a darker color body with light spots where dense clusters of long hairs emerge. They also have a pretty distinct head that is either black or red in color. Adult moths of the fall webworm show up in the summer months when they deposit their eggs so the larvae or the caterpillars do most of their feeding during this time into September. They place their web around the ends of the tree branches so that they can eat the leaves inside the web rather than leaving the web to eat. Thing about fall webworms is that they feed inside their webs. This is a protection mechanism used by these worms so that when they are eating, they don't get attacked by any predator. So, the next time you see these invertebrates, remember to consider the feeding season, web, feeding location, and, and general appearance. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from a UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County office.